Why is it hard to learn a foreign language? Well, it's because you think through your first language. And when you try to speak in the foreign language, you're trying to apply the same patterns, either grammar patterns or pronunciation patterns in the language that you're learning. But that doesn't work. About our product, Latvian for English Speakers Club, which is a selection of exercises that will help you to practice listening skills, pronunciation skills, grammar skills, and reading comprehension skills. I am the one who is behind it all, and I'm designing these exercises, but I don't simply have bandwidth to work with you personally to help you apply these theories in practice. And that's where Phillips is coming in. Today, I would like you to meet my son, Phillips. Hi, Phillips. Hi, uh, my name is Philips Berzins, and I am a native Latvian speaker. My mom and I frequently talk in Latvian, I'd say almost every day, probably that sounds about right. Um, and my goal here is to be the assistant coach and through uh, having drills that the main coach my mom has made, I will go through and help you get the form right and essentially get the practice and get the little details ironed out so that you can speak and enunciate words correctly and have the correct language patterns as you speak. Can you give us also an example from the exercise, how you could uh, work through it so that people can see? Yes, of course, I can give you an example. There should be one on your screen popping up now. And in English, it says, I am Zygmars. My wife is Mara. I met my wife through the internet. So in this problem in particular, you're supposed to insert the correct my. And the way you determine that is by looking at the sentence. So if the sentence begins with I, that means you're going to put in Savo. So at the very end, when it says S Iepazinos, that means I met. And in that blank, you're going to have to put Savo because you put S or I at the beginning, indicating that it is your wife. Versus in the previous sentence, you do not have S. It's just a blank. Wife is Mara. So you would say Mana to indicate that it's your wife because there is no S at the beginning. Yeah. Is, uh, excellent. Excellent explanation, Phillips. And I know this is very hard and it is hard to explain. And for the learners, it needs repetition, repetition, repetition. And that's what you're going to offer. Is that yes, correct? Yes, correct. I, I am the assistant coach here to make sure those repetitions, those free throws get in and that you are raising your percentage and you're getting better, better with each little practice exercise you get at. So if you are interested in this offer, please contact us but us by emailing at info at lzb.com. However, I have another announcement. If you are somebody who is a native speaker of Latvian and you would like to help other English speakers to learn Latvian, you can also contact us because I am helping people to teach Latvian to more people because my passion is to educate more and more people so that the Latvian language doesn't cease to exist. Philips, would you like to say anything else before we close? Any parting words? Well, I would say that uh, you would really enjoy working with me and that I feel like I can explain things very well. And let's keep the Latvian language going, as my mom says. Join us. Join the great side. And yeah, <laughs> uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. Bye. We'll be back. Bye.